All right, question. What should you do with violent inmates who assault prison guards? Solitary confinement seems to be the only thing. But now New York City wants to end solitary confinement, even if inmates assault prison guards. Check this out. So this is a story that I thought was interesting. New York City may ban solitary confinement in jails as Bill outlawing the practice gets veto-proof majority. So here's some background. There's been this fight about putting, placing inmates in solitary confinement on Rikers Island. And the advocates claim that the practice of solitary confinement for more than 24 hours is torture. But advocates on the other side, the prison guards, the corrections officers who handle prisoners, say the practice is necessary for inmates to have some type of consequences for violent actions. Solitary confinement was limited to only the most violent individuals, people who assaulted, maybe stabbed other inmates, maybe assaulted or stabbed even prison guards. Solitary confinement was essentially a punishment for inmates who didn't follow the rule. So let's see what the argument is. A bill that would ban the practice of solitary confinement in New York City jails now has a veto-proof supermajority of support among city lawmakers. The legislation's authors and inmate advocates say signaling momentum on the issue linked to inmates' deaths and spurring calls for an overhaul of the city's troubled system. Advocates say solitary confinement, no matter what you call it, is traumatic and inhumane with lethal effects on mental health and safety for all, said Carolina Rivera, a councilwoman from Manhattan and the chair of the Criminal Justice Committee who introduced legislation along with New York City public advocate Jamani Williams. So this is what solitary confinement looks like. Now, the reason why this has become such a hot topic this year is because 13 inmates who were being held or had just been released have died. The latest occurred Thursday night after an inmate held at Rikers on burglary committed self-harm. And at least 16 inmates in city jails have died in 2021, the most since 2013. So let's look at what this legislation actually does. What does it prohibit? Well, the legislation would prohibit inmates from being held in isolation in a cell for more than two hours during the day in a 24-hour period, or for more than eight hours at night to sleep. Inmates could be held longer in order to de-escalate conflict or if they pose an immediate danger to another person. But that cannot exceed more than four hours in a 24-hour period. Staff and mental health professionals must also interact with the inmates at least once an hour with medical checks every 15 minutes. So the Corrections Officers Union are totally against this. Corrections officers in the city jails have had a major rise in assaults and batteries to them while they're working in jail. There are some female officers who have been assaulted by male inmates. And under this new proposal, even if that was to happen, the worst of the worst, let's say even if a guard was killed, that person wouldn't be actually be able to be held in solitary confinement. That person would only be able to be put away for four hours, checked on every 15 minutes, and released from solitary confinement after that four hour period. So the guards are like, that essentially lets the inmates do whatever they want to us, and there be no consequences except a four hour long timeout. Now this has led to mass resignations within the workforce. For instance, over 600 corrections officers have already tired and they have a major shortage in staffing. The inmates that commit crimes in our system, there has to be consequences. They're put in the same cells that other inmates live in. This notion that we're, it's, torture, that we're torturing individuals in our system, that is not the case. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good idea to end solitary confinement in this particular way? Do you think this is progress? Or do you think this is going to cause more issues within the jails? How do you feel about the argument from the corrections officers union, right? That this is going to make their jobs even more dangerous. The fact that there are no consequences for inmates that commit violent crimes against the corrections officers, that seems to be a problem. But let me know in the comment section how you feel. My name is Nate Delore, and I'll see you next time. Peace.